hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel i received a message someone want to know how to scan documents from canon printer to computer or laptop this is canon mg 3650 and i'm going to show you how to scan document from here to your laptop to scan a document you need to stick the document you want to scan on top of the glass scanner and another thing is you need to make sure the printer is connected to a wi-fi network so the printer and the laptop both are connected to the same network then you need to download the software and the driver to your computer then connect both together now we're going to go to okay once it's connected you need to go to image garden okay so open up image garden so this is the image garden and from the image garden you will see from the guide menu you will see print the first one print organize file scan okay so we need to select scan so select scan and when you select scan then you can see auto the next thing you see is photo pdf document custom stitch and driver select pdf document okay and once you select pdf document and this it will start to prepare and now it's scanning here we go now this is this scan now okay and the next thing to do if you want to scan the second page you can turn it upside down okay so close it and select scan again you can do this as many times as you like okay then click exit to finish now this is the document open it up this is the document we scan open it okay this is the document we scan one okay and two okay this is the first and second one now if you want to save this document okay make sure you select the third as uh, the second okay then go to on top go on top and select file to save the document select file okay then scroll down to save okay then the next thing to do wherever you want to save this document to your computer you need to make sure you select browse where you want to save so select browse okay then you decide where you want to save this document let's say we want to save it in the document folder you select document okay and the next thing is for you to you can also name the document so you you, you type your name to remember it okay once you type here and then, then click then you select pdf okay and select save now this document is saving now it's saved if you want to print it out okay the next thing to do is you need to go on top again on from select file okay when you select file scroll down to print okay and it's getting ready now it gives you option make sure you select the correct printer mg3000 600 series is this printer then you select the paper size is a4 paper then the next is media type is plain paper okay once you've done that then also you can also print range setting you select print range setting then excel if you want to print only or page one you select page one if you want to print all the select all so what we selected now is print all you also have advanced setting with advanced setting it give you option for you to select the print quality standard draft or custom so okay now the next thing to do is select print now this document is going to print out now here we go
this is, this is the first one okay, this is the first document you printed out This is the last, okay, but not the least. Okay, so this is the document you scan, printed it out. Now, another thing I want to show you is if you want to share this document with somebody, now our job with the image garden is pretty much done. Then you close it. Okay, then the next thing to do, you need to go to, to go to your email address to attach, select new, okay. If you want to send it to somebody, select new. Then you type the email address of the person you want to send this to. So I'm going to send it back to myself. Okay. Now, then you go to your select insert. Okay. When you select insert, then go to file. Okay. Then the next thing to do, you need to go to document. When you select file, then you need to go to document. Okay. And type the name of the document you save and search it or you can also type the date you you scan the document or you save the document so i'm going to put the date okay so put the date again so put the date of the you scan the document Here we go. So once you put the date, it will show you the, the date you save the document in your computer. Okay, once you put the date, or if you remember the name, then you type the name on the search bar for you to be able to see the document. So we'll find the document, select on it, okay, open it up. Once you open it up, then it will attach to the inbox, to the email address. Then you send it, then you put the subject, put the, so, the email message you want to send to the person, for instance, okay, then click save. Now this document is saved is sent okay click sent so what you need to do you need to attach the document okay once you insert, select new okay select new go to insert select file then go to the document when you select the document then you type the date you save the document okay once you type the date the document will show up here we got this is the document okay click it open now you attach it to the inbox put the email address of the person you want to send this to okay then click send on top then you click send now this document is sent to my inbox okay and the first one we sent earlier on is already okay arrived to my inbox this is the first one click it open okay and this is the document will scan and send to my e email address and this is the second one also just arrived open it up okay so this is how to scan your document attach it to your email address and send it to somebody if you're happy with this, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you very much indeed, and stay blessed. Thank you.